impulse of yours to visit my ancestral lands is great, but aren't you supposed to be at work? I couldn't stand the thought of spending another day looking at those faces with their stupid little mouths, constantly running and making all sorts of unreasonable demands on me. Are you sure you should be in a customer service industry? So what happens after you hand that thing in? They verify my claim, and then I'm embraced by my people as a part of the Satsuma Indian Nation. That's awesome. It's also fraud. You're not Indian. You're black. Uh, one-eighth Satsuman on my grandmother's side, but even a fraction of my fraction makes me eligible for full tribal citizenship. And a cut of the gambling money. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh, no, this is not about money. This is about tribe pride. However, if a Title IV federal grant will pay off my student loans, then justice is served. <laughs> Where's the casino? This place doesn't even have a Stuckies. Hey, there's some guys over there. Why don't you ask them? Hey, fill it up. And do not drip on the paint. Hi. Go on in. Go on. Be glad you did. Over there. An authentic Satsuman totem should not be speaking English. I'm not authentic. They put me here for the tourists. <laughs> Go on. Go on in. That's it. Go on. Hurry. I'm going. Right I'm going. Right across the street there. That's good. Look both ways. You're gonna like it. Hurry on now. We both know Very that's good. Not true. Right up the path. Shut there. up. That's good. Money. So if you're like the local fortune teller or something, they speak to you in many voices, in many forms. You have been sought out for a great purpose. For this, you have been chosen. No, I don't want to be chosen. In this instance, I'm anti-choice. Also, chosen by what? Who are they? Do you know? Yes. Many questions. Yeah, if you're just going to be all cryptic, it will affect your tip. You entered this place only to silence the voices. You wish to silence them forever. Can I? Is there some way? Can you tell me how? Why do you think you're here? Okay, cryptic. And yet I think I like where you're going. Okay, I'm listening. If you could tell me how to get some relief. I really appreciate it. Excuse me. Hi, we're sort of in the middle of something, so would you mind waiting outside until we're through? Uh, what are you in the middle of? We're having a conversation. You're having a conversation with my dead grandmother? Okay, that's just odd. We're bobbing along in our bag. Tip right over the edge. But there's one thing really mystifying. Got me laughing now, it's got me crying. All my life will be testifying till I know. I wonder, wonder why. Stone cigarettes. Will that be all? Make it two. Just because I own 80 cartons doesn't mean I won't quit before I smoke them all. I need to see a resident card. Oh, I'm not Indian. Native. I can only sell you three packs. Three packs? That's hardly worth the trip. Sorry, new rule. What moron started this rule? Hello, Tyler. 
Littlefoot? <laughs> Deanna Littlefoot. Oh my God. What this is so, wow. Hey, congratulations. I read in the alumni newspaper that you are practicing upstate with Kirshner McKenzie now. Very prestigious. I left Kirshner McKenzie. Oh, you did? I was needed here. My people were being exploited and there was no one looking out for their interests. Good for you. And good for you, too. <laughs> she is the best. We went to law school together. Both top in our class. Remember the time you got our 200-year-old beloved mascot banned from campus? It was a sexist symbol of patriarchal oppression. Yeah, it was a beaver. My people are through being slaves to imperialist aggression by relying on non-native trade. My god, you haven't changed a bit. Neither have you. You always did need to be reminded of your place. You were never top of our class, Tyler. I was. All right, you were one, I was two, whatever. This is silly. How about we just leave all that ugly competition in the past where it belongs, hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. You were never any competition, and you weren't two. You were like sixth. I want my cigarettes. Two cases. She might get cancer. Mahandra! This is my good friend, Mahandra, who happens to be a member of the Satsuma Nations. She will take two cases. Show me your membership card. I don't have one yet. I just turned on my application. It has to be reviewed by the tribal lawyer. That would be me. Did you just screw me? Oh! Excuse me! Hi, uh, that crazy blonde woman? This way. She's not my good friend. In fact, I wouldn't even really say we're friends in any meaningful sense of the word. The fact is... What's going on? She disturbed Gentle Feather's sacred resting place. I, I don't know her either. This is all making me really uncomfortable. I'm trying to respect my grandmother's wishes, I am, and I thought I'd be fine with a native funeral, but not if you're going to allow tourists to participate. What were you doing in there? I was paying my respects. And I have a few more respects to pay. I just need to talk to her for one more minute. Talk to her? Did I say talk? I meant see. I'd rather she didn't. You know, and uh, if you're going to do that pyre thing, I'd appreciate it if you could do it soon before more people show up and poke my dead grandmother. You poked a dead grandmother? I didn't poke. I think it's best you and your friends leave, Tyler. Not friends. Uh, acquaintances. What about my application? Denied. But if you care to contest, tribal court meets Thursday morning, 11 a.m. Hope you have a good lawyer. It will be fine. I will personally represent you. Pro bono. That means free. What? Her spirit spoke to you? Nope. Mm -mm. But does that sort of thing happen a lot around here? Not that it happens every day, but we're taught that our holy ones can sometimes linger between this world and the next. She was holy? Gentle Feather was our seer. Our spiritual guide. A voice of reason among many louder, more angry voices. I'm very sorry for your loss, but could I maybe speak to the new seer person, the backup seer? -er? There isn't one. The line ended with Gentle Feather. The line? Well, what about him? He's the grandson, right? He's in line? Hey, it's his holy grandmother. Can he talk to her? He doesn't have the gift. Besides, he barely spoke to her when she was among the living. Why should it be any different now? Show him who's special. You can do it. Go on. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing? You said it was an emergency. An emergency of sorts. Um, what do you know about Satsuma and Indian legend? Um, not a lot. Good. Okay. You can be my authority. Shut up. Hi! 
You came. Thanks. She told you it was an emergency? I'm Jay. We didn't really get a chance to meet officially. You're the girl that was talking to my dead grandma. It's inanimate people, too? You said you had something at first. Please tell me you didn't take it off the body. No. It was in the dirt. Someone must have dropped it. Uh, this is from that rack. Well, actually, it's mine. Okay. How about this? You getting anything? Does that belong to my grandma? I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Is there some reason I...